Well, weather is set to be a major player for South American crops, and it could lead to more soybeans on the global market next year. Farmers in Argentina are preparing to trim corn acres next season. It comes after insects and weather took a toll on crops this year. Farmers there are preparing to convert around 5 million acres to soybeans, adding to an already inflated global supply. Analysts with Reuters say the jump in soybean acres is the largest leap since a million acre increase back in 2012. As China calls out Canada, accusing the country of dumping canola, farmers and the markets are reacting. Host of Real Ag Radio, Sean Haney, joins us now with the latest. Sean, good to have you with us. So what has been the Canadian reaction to China's claims? Hey, great to meet you here this morning. So I, I don't think there was uh, a lot of surprise that China has retaliated the way they have. Now, they haven't placed a tariff on Canadian canola. They haven't you know, taken away the export licenses of grain companies like Viterra and Richardson's like they did back during, you know, remember the Huawei CFO and that retaliation where we actually couldn't export canola seed or, or canola oil to the country. In, in this case, they just opened an investigation related to claims that Canada is dumping canola into China since 2023. I just talked to Chuck Penner of Leftfield Commodity Research, and he'll be on today's episode of Real Life Radio. And, and Chuck described this whole situation as as uh, ridiculous. Um, he actually had a few other words as well, but I won't share them on the radio here. Um, Lawrence McCauley, Minister of Agriculture in Canada, said Canadian canola is the best in the world and our producers depend on and play by a rules-based global trading order that provides reliable market access. Obviously, China disputes this and uh, we'll have to see how this works out. So do you think that we can expect compensation for farmers for the loss in market value if this persists and gets worse? I think it's a really good good question. We, we saw the canola market yesterday limit down forty five dollars a ton. Today it's opened, you know, down ten fifteen. It's it's off the lows of of the day. We'll have to see where we close. There's lots of trading day left here. But if you apply this to some of our experiences in the U.S., remember when during the Trump administration and there was uh, a real pushback against China trade policies. There was concerns about you know soybean exports to China, and so farmers through the MFP program. There's a couple of versions of it. Farmers were compensated for you know being good patriots for you know supporting the, the, the broader picture. Will that happen in Canada if this continues for a period of time? I think it's still too early to tell. Um, there is going to be, I think, the longer this goes on, the further the market. If the market continues to slide lower, maybe sub five, those voices are going to get. Are, are going to get a, a, a much more loud. You know, the, in, in the case of Australian barley, it took three years to get that that whole thing sorted, which was very similar to this this claim. So uh, you know, I, I think uh, the, the, we'll have to see how much canola actually does get to China from Canada and if those trade flows actually stop. Before I let you go, what are next steps for Canada to take a response? Uh, well, I think at this point, Canada is just talking about you know rules-based trade and uh, following the situation closely. I, I don't expect Canada to back off of those tariffs on EVs out of China or steel and aluminum. We've got both the governing party, the Liberals, and the opposition party, the Conservatives, both in support of these tariffs at this time as they both try to really attract some of that union vote in the auto sector and the steel sector. So I don't see Canada backing down here, and we'll have to see if China gets a little bit more aggressive in the short term if Canada doesn't. All right. Thanks for that update. That's host of Real Ag Radio, Sean Haney. Appreciate your time. And you can catch Sean on his show, Real Ag Radio, which airs at 4.30 p.m. Eastern weekdays on Real Radio, Channel 147 on Sirius XM. And we'll talk with him again tomorrow on Market Day Report.